We've been working uh, closely with uh, the friends of the Syrian people uh, to try to call for Assad to go. Canadian Minister of Foreign Affairs John Baird appears on Qatari state media and affirms Canada's partisan support for Syrian rebels. Baird asserts that Canada's Middle East policy is motivated by human rights concerns, yet he appears scared to criticize the human rights abuses of Israel in the occupied Palestinian territories. He remains noticeably silent on the lack of democracy in Saudi Arabia and Qatar, which perhaps stems from the fact that his own Conservative Party are currently under fire with accusations that they rigged the Canadian elections in 2011, in which they attained a majority in the Canadian Parliament. Many Canadian Syrians are ill at ease with their government's financial and political support for groups that are allegedly committing acts of terrorism in Syria at the behest of the US, Israel, Saudi Arabia and Qatar. Well, we don't agree with the Canadian government policy on Syria because they are siding with the terrorists. Actually, USA Army and uh, Canadian Army, they, they were fighting for 10 years in Afghanistan. The same uh, extremist group which they are fighting against our government in Syria. So I don't know why, why they changed from like 180 uh, degrees from like uh, fighting those groups uh, in the past. But now they are supporting those groups by, by money, by weapons, by uh, everything. This testimony brings into question the claim made by the Canadian government that it is engaged in a war on terror. If the Canadian government is indeed aiding and abetting terror groups as alleged by these Syrian patriots, then it would vindicate the claim made by many that terrorism is but a tool of Western governments that are in fact engaged in a war of terror against the inhabitants of the Middle East. Canadian government must work with Syrian government to support reforms in peace, in peaceful way. Um, they have to stop uh, supporting uh, and financing uh, those extremist groups are uh, under opposition like uh, title. Well, it's in, be in best interest of uh, Israel to have uh, uh, their neighbors uh, uh, involved in a civil war so they will be busy fighting each other instead of fighting Israel. While it is clear that the Zionist regime has a vested interest in destabilizing Syria, it is unclear how it serves the Canadian national interests to be sending Canadian tax dollars to sectarian groups in Syria especially at a time when the Canadian government has imposed harsh austerity measures on the people of Canada. For Press TV, I'm Joshua Blakeney in Calgary, Alberta, Canada.